Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am doing a study with me video. So basically I'm gonna be showing you guys how I organize my notes and get prepared for a brand new chapter in Anatomy and Physiology 2. If you're not an AMP2, you might still find this video interesting. If you're in any college class that requires intensive note taking and studying because it just kind of overall motivates you and gives you some new ideas for how I take my notes and the strategies I use to organize everything. So if that's something that interests you, then let's get started because I have a lot to do and I'm hoping to get all of this done in like a maximum hour and a half. So one of the most important things is to make sure that you have a good study set up so that you are focused. So if that means going somewhere else other than your house to study, I totally get that. I do that sometimes. But for tonight, I'm going to be studying at home in my office. I always like to light a candle and right now I've been loving the marshmallow pumpkin latte from Bath and Body Works. And I made myself a cup of coffee and I put it on my little coffee warmer, which is from Amazon. So that way the entire time I'm studying, my coffee is nice and hot. My cell phone can be a huge distraction for me, so I've been using the Forest app to help me stay focused. Basically, you set intervals of study time and you plant trees, and it just kind of helps you stay focused because if you touch your phone, then your tree dies. So I like to do these 25 minute sessions and I unlocked this cute little scarecrow with a pumpkin. So that's what I'll do, and I'll just start this as soon as I begin my studying. And then I won't touch my phone the entire time. I'll take a five minute break, and then I'll do another 25 minutes. That technique is called the Pomodoro technique. For AMP2, I just use a white one subject five star notebook, so I'm just turning to a fresh page. And then I have the three chapters that will be on our next exam, and we are working on the digestive system. So the next thing I'm doing is just pulling up the PowerPoints for my lab as well as my lecture because we have two different ones and we have a quiz per week for them so I just like to have those up while I'm reading my notes so I can kind of correlate both in. Sometimes there'll be like things that are bolded on the slides and like I like to add those to my notes. So now I'm just going to put on my favorite playlist for when I'm studying which is the all nighter playlist on Spotify but I'm not going to play it yet because I don't want to get copyrighted. So the first thing I like to do when I'm starting a brand new chapter is just read through the entire chapter and highlight any important terms. It might take me a little longer depending on the length of this chapter actually this one's not super long so about 20 25 minutes so I will start my session now Once I have read through the chapter and done my highlighting and any little annotations that I want to do, I start taking my notes. So essentially I'm going to be rereading through this and just pulling out the important things and making notes. I also forgot to mention that I pick a different color for every chapter. Sometimes I repeat colors and so for chapter 26 I decide to do pink. So I like to use a few flare pens of different shades of pink and then I use these Sharpie clear view markers um, and then the larger highlighters. So the pens I primarily primarily use for my note taking are the Papermate Inkjoy pens and these are the gel ones in 0.7. I love these. These are my all-time favorite note taking pens. So I always start out by labeling the chapter that I'm working on. So I'm just going to write chapter 26 notes at the top. And I'm just going to start by writing the digestive processes. And one little note-taking technique I learned was boxing. One of the techniques I use is doing these little three-dimensional boxes for my subtitles. So I'm talking about the digestive processes here. So I just put that in a box. It just makes it really easy to find like different parts in your notes whenever you are going back to study. And over here I'm talking about mechanical digestion, which happens in three different parts of the GI tract, the mouth, the stomach, and the small intestine. And then I use stars as like sub bullet points to talk about different things from the book. I like to box different keywords. So chewing is mastification. Down here it talks about emulsion 
emulsification and my cells, which are the little tiny droplets in the process of the small intestine breaking down fats and lipids. So this is kind of how I like to do things. I'm gonna take a five minute break and then I'll show you guys how I keep doing the rest of this chapter. digestion and there was a lot more like key terms that I wanted to highlight on as you can see so I just box those in now I'm gonna read through this chart and then I'm gonna actually work on this tomorrow morning because I'm honestly really tired since I didn't finish these notes I thought I would show you some that I did from another chapter just so you guys can kind of see how I organize things in different ways like these are different tunics of the blood vessel so that's kind of how I did that um, I like to make them look interesting so that way when I'm going back to study it's kind of more fun to study and then while I'm in class I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I annotate so whenever I go into class I just like draw little lines and just like mention things that he talks about in class so that way it kind of ties everything together Sometimes I like to make little t-charts and just separate things that are under the same category and then I use another color in a flare pen Some of these notes get really really extensive so yeah, that is basically like my key to success when it comes to note taking. I find it extremely helpful to go through and take all of your notes. It is definitely like very time consuming, but I feel like my time spent in lecture is so much better when I'm not just trying to write everything down when I've already gone through the chapter. So it's kind of like my second time seeing the information and professors tell you that all the time. And this is honestly like the first semester that I've truly tried to do all of my notes beforehand. And I feel like it's made a huge difference. So if you want to be successful, do your notes ahead of time and just sit back and relax during lecture. I bring a snack, I get a coffee and I literally just like lounge and I just listen to the professor and I follow along in my notes. It's the best strategy ever. But it's late, I'm gonna get to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. I post lots of college videos and I'll see you guys in my next one.